I've been in the same spot for the past 69 hours. I'm so bored of everything. Every day consists of the same fucking thing. School, shitty classmates, and murdering. All I want is a little more flavor to my life. Is that too much to ask? I just fucking wish that. What the fuck? Why am I frozen in place? What was that noise? Am I gonna die? Is this the end for me? Shut the fuck up, you dumbass bitch. What? Who are you? I am. Are you a ghost or some weird kinda shit like that? No, I'm not. Wait, are you my stalker or something? Can you let me? Because I'll have you know that I am not scared of your ass. I am your father. What? Listen up, you annoying bitch. I don't owe you an explanation for anything. I'm here to do you the favor of making your life less repetitively boring. Hello? Why can't I see anything? You are about to be teleported. Finish the game to unlock an alternate reality. You're teleporting me to a game. What's with the sperm on my screen? Is anything happening? Holy fuck, it's alive. Top 10 most traumatic moments of my life. Oh, I'm an infant. That literally looks nothing like me, but sure. I was born a female in Charlotte, United States. I was an accidental pregnancy. Accurate. So these people are supposedly my parents. No idea who the fuck these random ass people are, but they're damn ugly. Looks like we're averagely smart and also average looking. So we don't really have too much going for us. Since we're fresh out the womb, let's go ahead and age up. After playing all morning, your mother says you need to drink something and asks what sounds good. What will you choose? I mean, I'm down for some prune juice because that stuff makes you shit. Let's keep at it. Bro, I don't remember asking for a sibling. Do my parents not know what contraceptives are? Because what the fuck? First, my parents have me on accident and now, my mom pops out yet another child out of fucking nowhere. This is exactly what happens when proper sex ed isn't taught at school. Whatever. Guess I won't be experiencing the luxury of being an only child. A little boy named Malcolm wants to become your friend. Oh my god look at us bagging in the daddies and we're only three years old. Starting off early, he's also hot and smart. I'd be a fool to turn him down. Finessed. Let's try to up our relationship with King Malcolm. Let's try having a conversation with him because communication is key to a healthy relationship. You and your friend Malcolm discussed the stone stuck up your nose. Oh. I mean, there's only so much we can converse about as toddlers. How did the stone even get there in the first place? It feels like just yesterday we were a fetus in our mom's uterus. And now we started elementary school. We've come so far. And someone wants to be our friend right away. Because we're just that popular. Girl what? What type of blasphemy is this? Our popularity bar isn't even halfway full. Your parents want to take you and your little sister on a family vacation to Nassau, Bahamas. How will you behave? Bitch, I'll never say no to a free vacation. And that's a period. Your mother is suffering from flatulence. Um, I really couldn't care less. Fuck. Karma really came to bite me in the ass. My parents want to buy me a wood bass guitar. Bet. Our mutt died. No. I'm so sorry, Sheila. You didn't deserve this. I'll never forget you. Rest in pieces. And of course, we're suffering from epilepsy now. Oh. It's time to go to your first school dance. You are attracted to a boy in your class named Elvis Begay. What will you do? Oh my god. My first crush. We're about to be the hottest couple ever. What the fuck? Why? Why? No, what was reason. the reason? I had a reason. What was the reason? reason. The reason. What was the reason, bitch? This makes no fucking sense. Why the fuck did he reject us like that? Well, 
Maybe it's just because you're ugly. Ugly? You gotta be kidding me. Better try the reflection test. I blame my parents for the awful genes. I inherited. Whatever. I don't need no fucking man. Once I get enough money to afford plastic surgery, that little shit will come crawling right back. Let's ask our parents for some cash money. Hell yeah, 20 for dollars in the bag. Time to ask our mom too. Not her giving us less than our dad. Nonetheless, I'll take the $22 thank you. Very fucking much. We're rolling in it bitches. Wait oh my god. I have the opportunity to kiss the boy that rejected me two seconds ago. See? My charm is that irresistible. We're gonna kiss him with tongue for sure. Yeah. So he's one of those guys that uses the whole bottle of cologne in one sitting. Maybe I shouldn't have given this asshole my first kiss after all. Yay, we're finally starting high school. Now that you're in high school, you are thinking about participating in an extracurricular activity. What will you do? Girl, our athleticism bar is non-existent help. Wait, I can get a part-time job? I never say no to money. $70 added in my bank account, bitches. I know I said that I don't need no man but an opportunity to date a hot and stupid psychopath? Yes, please. We are going to be high school sweethearts. I can feel it. Literally fuck you. Like actually go fuck yourself, crawl in a ditch, and get eaten alive by maggots. I hate men. I'm insulting this motherfucker one last time. Tanner broke up with you. You called him an imbecile as he was walking out the door. Damn right I did. And I'd do it again too. When it comes to men, you gotta swap them. Out like socks. While at the gym, you meet a boy named Hunter. See what I mean? We already have another love interest. The only problem is... Bro is really really fucking psycho. What if he kills me in my sleep and takes all of my money? That would be extremely tragic, therefore, I think I'll pass on him. We met another boy at the gym. I think I found a winner because he's hot, smart, and sane. The full package. Let's go. He's much more worthy of my presence than those other two bitches. Look at us bonding. Oh my god, what if I were to propose to him? I mean, we're only in high school, but fuck it. Let's propose to him in a rose garden. That would be cute. No ring though, because we're too broke for that. God damn it. You know what? It's fine. We're only 15 years old anyways. Even though you're a virgin, your boyfriend, Billy, wants to take your relationship to the next level. How will you react? Oh my fucking god. Billy wants to take my virginity. I repeat, Billy wants to take my fucking virginity. Again, we're only 16 years old now, but let's do it. And of course, his excitement maxed the fuck out. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. It looks like he actually made us finish. Bare minimum. But thank you. Time to take our driving test. If I don't pass, I swear to God. <laughs> This one is easy. Let's fucking go. <laughs> My parents want to buy me a car, an 8-year-old GMC Acadia to be exact. Let's ask for a more expensive car. Fuck. <laughs> Fine, I'll take the stupid ugly piss yellow. 8-year-old rusted up car. My parents are so fucking stingy. I'm pregnant. That's suspicious. That's weird. So um, I refuse to let teen pregnancy get in the way of my future success. The smart decision would be to abort it. But I'm feeling reckless so let's fucking keep it. Even though we're jobless. Bruh. All that for us to have a miscarriage? And now something is wrong with our eyesight? This cruel world is literally against me. Nah because I'm about to pass this eye. Exam. Shit the pressure is on right now. There it is. I passed that shit with flying colors. Screw everybody. 
Now, let's try again for another baby. Oh, yeah. That was easy. What can I say? I have a high fertility rate. Ugh, it's a boy. Let's name it something cute. Adorable. Definitely not doing a circumcision because that's fucking painful and I wouldn't want someone doing that to me without consent. I graduated finally. Honestly, screw university. Let's look for a regular job instead. An apprentice makeup artist it is. This job is perfect because I can teach people how to be as beautiful as me. Let's apply. While being interviewed for the apprentice makeup artist position at Charlotte Productions, you are asked the following question. Which of these is your greatest strength professionally? How will you respond? Let's lie and say that I'm very diligent. See, lying in interviews works like a charm. Since we're employed, the most logical thing to do is get another baby. Oh, yeah. And I'm pregnant once again. Another boy. Are you kidding? I want a girl. At least he'll have a cute name. Someone by the name of Diana Pickles wants to become our friend. Thanks, but no thanks, girly. Since I've acquired a new kid, let's ask our parents for some support in the form of cash. I need some money. Not trying to sound ungrateful or anything, but that's all. And we're pregnant again. Yeah. And again. Yeah. And again. Again. Fuck. Again. Again. Yeah. again. Fuck. Okay, so I am now 28 years old. And guess what? Altogether, I have popped out 10 babies. Straight out of my pussy, I hereby declare myself a baby making machine. Oh, and during all of that, my boyfriend and I could end up getting married. But I'm gonna divorce his ass because I'm sharing his debt. I refuse to settle for a broke bitch. I need to find myself a sugar daddy asap. As you can see, I am broke as shit. Be right back while I hunt for a rich husband. I didn't realize how finding a sugar daddy could be such a painfully long process. My debt has inevitably increased since, and I'm assuming this is because I'm an educated, working an underpaid job and a single mom of 10. Well, if it isn't the consequences of my own action. Hi, so I finally managed to find an old ass man with lots of money. This man is literally 83 years old, so essentially one foot in the grave. All I gotta do is wait for his ass to die and get that. Sweet inheritance. Look how many kids I have, oh my fucking god. Oh no. My dad died. And, and left me no inheritance or anything. He can have someone else plan his funeral because I'm not about to spend my hard-earned money. Not my 89-year-old husband outliving. Both of my parents. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. My mom is really that bitch. Rest in peace, queen. You will be missed. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. It's been a long journey, but he finally died. And look at that big fat inheritance. I am a fucking millionaire, bitches. <laughs> this calls for round two. He's gotta be old as fuck. And also rich as fuck. Looks like I found my next victim. All I gotta do is marry him and wait until he has a heart attack or something. In the meantime, let's get some plastic surgery so I can look hot at 55 years old. $7,895 for a Brazilian butt lift is totally worth it. Gotta get this wedding going before he dies. I'm gonna make this shit extra cheap. Perfect. You're thinking about whether you should make your fiancé Antoine sign a prenuptial agreement before marrying him. What will you do? Oh shit. I'm worth like double the amount that he is. Probably a good idea to make him sign a prenup in case he tries to pull a fast one. What the fuck? The asshole refused to sign it. Guess I'll have to marry him without a prenup. And hope to god he doesn't divorce my ass. 
Definitely not fully changing my last name. All that money will be mine soon. Soon after. Hell to the fucking yes. Let's go ahead and skip his funeral because I don't give a fuck. 1.6 million dollars has been acquired. So I sped through the game a bit and I'm currently 71 years old with a new husband and I have 5 million dollars chilling in my bank account. I have a feeling I'm gonna die any second, so let's see how much longer I actually live for. And we're dead. We lived all the way up to 73 years old. And we got the fertility badge as we should. I definitely lived a fulfilling life. Congratulations. You finished the game. You will now be teleported back. Oh shit. Oh wait. I'm back in my house. That must have been a weird ass dream I had. Someone's knocking on my door. What in the hell? Hi, mommy. Who the fuck are you guys? We are your kids, remember? Yeah, you gave birth to all ten of us. So it wasn't a dream? Play with us, mommy. Oh, fuck no. Someone fucking send help. I'm being chased down by a group of slimy Cheeto-fingered kids. Get these ugly gremlins away from me. Fuck everybody.